everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel and another Persian declutter video. I'm doing, I'm always doing decluttering, but I'm kind of doing a Persian declutter alongside Melody from Transforming Melody, Rhonda from Spanky Cola, and Michelle from My Everyday Wife Life, and also Denise from uh, The Lovely Life. So all of the links to the channels are down below. We're having a big issue today because the furnace stopped working last night around 8 p.m. and uh, it was 12 degrees <laughs> overnight. We are freezing, really freezing, and it's Sunday. We're waiting for the furnace people to come in and basically bail us out. But, uh, so I've had the uh, fireplace running for the past... Two days. Well, since yesterday, right? Yes. Uh, since it's yesterday, we've had the fireplace... Um, running and thank god we have enough wood but i'm in the entryway for the front of the house right now and do you see that okay there's a little um electric heater and i put it against the baseboard because this area right here and that's the biggest problem in the house for me is an extension that is done on top of the front porch and it is not insulated and two years ago what happened is that we used to close the glass door right here in the winter and what happened is that the uh, pipe froze and broke right here so i put that heater right in front of it since last night because i'm really concerned that this is going to burst again so yeah so it's going to be limiting my space and we've learned to leave that open at all times um especially in the winter so the other problem is the closet here, which I've done before, probably the first year I was on YouTube. The closet here is also on top of the porch and not insulated. That closet is always extremely cold and I can't do much about it other than putting clothes and shoes, which is really what it's supposed to be. That being said, we only use the back door. So <laughs> there's a problem with coats and shoes in this house. If we were using the front door, um, you come home, you close the door, you put your stuff in, you get your slippers and then you move on. But in this house, we use the back door, like most Americans, the side door, the back door. And as a result, the coats end up everywhere. And this closet's got so much stuff in it right now that even if you were actually disciplined enough to put your coat and your shoes in that particular closet, you wouldn't find a square inch of space for it. So. Just like I did with the uh, pantry, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what it looks like, what works, what doesn't work, and what I plan on doing with it. Right, so here's the entryway. Um, here's the closet right here, and this is the front door. And you see I have to put a towel there because it's so cold and windy, I'm actually getting a, uh, um, a draft. Okay, and my little heater here that's against the uh, pipes. All right, so the closet is right here, and of course, you know, bag, right, because that belongs there. And this is what it looks like right now, you guys. So there's the, uh, a whole bunch of shoes at the bottom. And then coats, lots of them. Some empty hangers. And then there's two shelves there with purses. It's totally disorganized. Um, Scott brings in his um, mail bag. What do you call it? Yeah, you know what, a messenger bag. Um, after work, and then it just doesn't have space for it. So as a result, it gets stuck here. You can never close the door. So what I'm going to do is basically empty out the whole thing and start over. All right. So sometimes you just need a fresh start. One of the things that I want to do is bring the shoe rack over here so that we have um, the shoes better organized. And like I said in the pantry video, that shoe rack in the kitchen entryway just doesn't work out at all. At all. So the shoes are going to be there. And yeah, we got to cross the dining room to bring our shoes there, but you know, who cares? And then obviously, I don't need that many coats. There's some coats in there that can go. Some coats, uh, like my good coats, need to be covered and brought to the closet upstairs. Um, and then some of the coats, I'm sure we can just donate. There's a bunch of other stuff in there. Uh, hats, mismatch, you know, umbrellas. So I bought a few things. Um, at Ace Hardware and I'm going to show you what I got and it's basically to help me organize this a little bit better. Okay, so I got this over the door um, rack, okay, and that's going to go inside the closet and that's going to be for either uh, scarves or Scott to hang his mailbag or maybe I'll put it on the outside, I don't really care. So we'll see and whether that works and then if you remember from my last closet declutter, I had removed one of those things, but it was the wider one that was like making 
12 by 12 squares and I didn't like it because it was taking a lot of room it really was and I thought it was wasted space so instead I got this one which is much narrower and that one is for shoes but I'm going to use it for scarves, gloves, hats, you know, all those umbrellas, all those little things that just keep on getting shuffled around in the closet. I'm hoping it's going to help me stay a little bit more organized. And there's three, six, nine, there's ten uh, compartments. So hopefully it will contain enough of our stuff. Scott is going out to get some wood from the front door. <sighs> it's a nice fire though. Willie, how you doing? Meh. Meh? Why You're hanging in there? Why do we even have the fan on? Okay, so when you reverse the fan, okay, you bring the heat up. And it's helping us get some heat on the second floor, basically. Scott is bringing us some wood. Oh, I want to show you this, you guys, since we in the uh, living room. Okay, you see this fan here? This is going to go in Edward's bedroom today. Um, this is the drawers upstairs already. This is a Pottery Barn Catalina extended dresser that I purchased on, um, what do you call them? Do you know the Facebook market thing? Okay, if you have, you have like a little store of an awning on your Facebook page. And this is for your area of people who are selling stuff, okay? This is a thousand dollar dresser and I got it for, you ready for this? 30 bucks <laughs> I kid you not so it's uh, it's excellent quality look it's got the sliders okay the only thing is that she had it in a kid's room and the kid put some uh, stickers so I have to put some goo be gone on it to kind of like you know remove all of that stuff and then yesterday I went to my thrift shop and they had this big white mirror for $25 so that's gonna go on top of it and I'm gonna do that sometimes today okay back in the closet um, I am going to go ahead and empty this whole thing and then we're gonna look at it empty and decide what we're gonna do with all this stuff all right so I'll be right back thank you Lord they are coming to the rescue excellent all right we're gonna have heat again all right, it's all empty and I found a lot of totally um, random stuff in there. So I'm going to start by seeing if I can put that uh, shoe rack underneath. I'm hoping it fits um, because otherwise I may have to remove this shelf, which I don't want to have to do because it is uh, practical. So let me do that first. And to be honest, you know, if this closet wasn't so darn cold, I wouldn't mind removing the door together and doing one of those cubicle thing, you know, where they have like partitions and the hook inside and everybody's name and cubicles at the bottom. It would be great because it's deep enough to do that. You can even do a sitting bench if you wanted to, but it's too cold and it fits. So I'm happy about that. All right. So I kept the uh, mud tray underneath, you know, for rainy days or whatever. And that's basically right now it's just Edward's shoes and Scott's. Um, all of the good shoes you know the dress shoes they are in the closets in uh, shoe boxes so keeping those here I just got to put Willie's and mine but we obviously are wearing them and you notice we wear a lot of sneakers most of the time and then on the top shelf here I just put the snow stuff because we're not gonna have any snow well crossing my finger um I, no, we don't want any more snow. All right, so I got uh, Willie Edward, my snowshoes, and then Scott's snowshoes are over here, but they lands in, and they tore on the side, and he's supposed to send them back to lands in because they, um, what do you call them? Lifetime guarantee. So that's done. I'm going to get that little compartment thing and install it right here. And actually, I'm going to put it in the middle because that's going to separate our coat from the kids' coats. And I'll put all the uh, hats and... You know, odds and ends in that. I'm making progress. All right, so this is what I got so far. Okay, so I separated um, the coats with this thing in the middle. And I can't get you a wider angle, I'm sorry. All right, so on top here, I'm putting um, hats, which I don't think I'm going to keep. I think I should put my uh, extra purses here. But anyway, on the left here, I have Edward's coat, Willie's uh, winter coat, and then one of Willie's uh, windbreakers. And then in the middle here, I have gloves, gloves, hat, more gloves. Um, and I should probably put the gloves together because these are Willie's gloves. 
And then these are Edwards, these are the hats, that's empty. That's my leather gloves, they're gonna go here. Uh, we got some caps, and then these are all the um, ponchos. And then these are drawstring bags. Okay, on this side, Scott went out, so I don't have his coat in here. So his coat is gonna go here, and then he has the liner from an old coat that he actually wears. When, you know, the weather starts changing and it's a little bit uh, warmer out. And then I have my regular, you know, quilted coat. The one I'm wearing right now is the uh, um, pea coat, a wool pea coat. This is more like a, a, a light a raincoat, but I could put it in the closet upstairs, actually, because I'm not using it yet. I got a big mess here. This one is a coat that can go. This has got to go back upstairs. That's Edward. Um, and then I have a whole bunch of purses, so I gotta figure out where I'm going to put the purses. Alright, so now I got all this space here and here, which technically I could put purses there and keep my hats over there. And then I installed this thing and the door is actually wider, so I had to hammer the whole thing in to uh, um, make it fit. And that's okay, it's fitting now and it's actually not moving and I can close the closet, so that's good. I have umbrellas. Um, originally, I wanted to put them in that cubicle, but if I do that, they overhang too much. And it's not like they're gonna fall or anything. I just don't like the way it looks. So the umbrellas can stay here. And I'm trying to find Scott's um, messenger bag. I don't know what I did with it. Um, what a mess in here. Okay, let me find it and then we'll see if I can close the door. It fits. All right, so he can hang his messenger bag here, and then I can finally close this door. Finally. Okay. We're making progress. All right. Um, I think I'm just going to put the hats all on top of each other. Um, that way I can save some room, right? That can fit like that. And that way I can have um, room for purses here. And that's all I need. And I still have space over there. So I'll be right back. Let me see what I can do with my purses. All right, so I'm done. And um, I am bring my purses upstairs. Why? Because, you know, depending on what I'm wearing, I'll just move. Um, I'll just pick a purse and that's it. So how did I manage? Uh, the ones that are standing um, are here. And this one here, actually, my sister gave me when I went to France um, this past summer. But I stuffed it with newspaper because I don't want it to get all floppy. That's my Selma. I did a review on that. Uh, there's two Vera Bradley and then my um, Donnie and Bork. So those are standing. They can stay there. And then here, the floppy ones that are uh, Vera Bradley. Um, they're here, stack on top of each other. My uh, Louis Vuitton is here. And I stuffed it too because I don't want it to lose shape. So actually, it was um, gifted to me by my mother-in-law. And... It was pretty vintage and it lost a lot of its shape, so I keep it with paper in it to really kind of keep it in shape. I don't know if that makes sense. I, my hats are like that and I'm still waiting for Scott, so his coat is going to be there. And this is working out for me, guys. It didn't take long at all, but at least, you know, when I open this closet, I can find the stuff and it's it makes more sense. I do need to do something about this. These are the uh, drawstring bags. And for some reason, um, I don't know what to do with the strings themselves. You know what? I'm going to put the strings inside the bags and then refold them and see if that works. Hold on. And that worked. At least I don't have the strings um, dangling. So again, these are ponchos. We have a few of Scott's caps here. One of the kids' caps. And then this one is empty, but that's going to be for um, more hats and gloves because I know I have an extra pair of glove in the car and then two of my hats are in the car as well so that's gonna have to go in there so that's it i'm done like i said it didn't take too long you guys um maybe an hour to do this thing but at least it's done and i have peace of mind and this closet closes now and that is just wonderful you can put a price tag on that huh <sighs> okay done um i hope you like it you let me know down below you know, sometimes in order to save space, all you gotta do is use um, the space you already have. Um, I put one of the purses inside this one. That way I don't have, you know, a store worth of um, purses in there. 
and of course I label because you know it makes me feel like I did a good job so I have mom and dad and then Edward and William on this side so now you're gonna tell me now you're gonna ask Sophia what do you do when you have guests well when I have guests um I need extra hangers don't I I can think about that um all right so I'm gonna put extra hangers maybe three I guess that would be it and if we have guests well then you know you squish everything and you put the coat there or maybe you bring the coats upstairs uh, I've done that before it's not a big deal leave it alone stop it okay I'm getting rid of one bag just one bag but that's going out um, broken shoes and coats that are ripped or too small and you just can't donate what are you doing there's no food in what is this he managed to get something he went there for tissue you are insane I'm starting to feel the heat back on that whole furnace thing has been fixed um, yeah the heat is coming up and we have the heat at 78 degrees throughout the whole house and it's gonna be like that until we go to bed um, because we really need to heat up the walls and everything usually we keep the heat at 68 um, we really don't like the house to be too hot so 68 is good for us um, yeah so it's gonna be it's two o'clock in the afternoon another six hours at 78 like that just to warm up the whole house and then we'll turn it down a little bit but at least it's working and no pipe broke so yes um give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you are new button is right there for subscribe i'm gonna continue to purge and declutter there's more areas in the house you know what I keep on doing the same areas because we just don't have a um, discipline in this house but even if you are disciplined and nowhere near my level of messiness and disorganization you still have to go through your areas um, at least once a year minimally just to you know check in see what you got in there see what you still want to wear what not you don't want to wear what you no longer wear, what's ripped, what needs to be uh, fixed, what's dry cleaning and you know things that are just like either too small too big whatever um, just to give a once around to those areas uh, in my case I had to do the pantry yesterday because it, it was just a, a total disaster and we both love it we've been um, using it you know for dinner last night and then um, our breakfast this morning and lunch today and it was it was great to find things right away you I mean you know priceless stuff and then this here I'm hoping is gonna stay that way I should do check-in videos you know that I should do check-in videos every three months like hey what is my closet looking like after I've worked on it um, another way to expose myself as having absolutely no habits and discipline anyway give me a thumbs up if you like this video I'll see you later I'm gonna have um, a little snack and then I'm gonna start working on uh, Edward's dresser Scott and I have to bring it upstairs and let me tell you that thing is heavy so I will see you in the next video that's probably gonna be Edward's dresser video and that will be it okay thanks for watching you guys bye